Yeah, so there are a variety of ways that today's AI are obviously uh, very helpful, very powerful in a variety of conditions, but there's also uh, many ways in which they're still very limited. So some people watching this may be aware of issues such as continual learning, where it's very difficult to take an AI that's based on deep learning and once it's trained, teach it something new without it forgetting everything uh, it has learned before. But there are many other issues as well. For example, despite kind of consuming an internet worth of data, uh, these models still have a tendency to kind of fixate on things like texture and these kinds of small details when they recognize objects uh, and do quite poorly at just looking at the global shape uh, as a way of recognizing objects, even though that's exactly what humans do. And humans not only rely on the shape, they're also able to kind of recognize things even if they're rotated in unusual ways. Again, this is something that despite being trained on kind of internet scale data sets, uh, current deep learning systems are, are surprisingly poor at. The theoretical proposals then in this paper uh, have enabled us to build a system, what we call Monty, uh, which is an artificial intelligence uh, system. It's uh, been developed uh, in Python and is available now if, if you want to kind of uh, play around with it. And we also have a, a paper kind of going into its properties. Monty takes a lot of these core concepts and distills them down into what we need to make a functioning system and basically demonstrates that it can do many of these things like continual learning, uh, like recognizing objects based on their shape or uh, regardless of their orientation. Uh, and these capabilities very much stem from the principles that were laid out in this paper, like the role of the thalamus in transforming inputs or the centrality of reference frames in sensory motor learning in each cortical column. Uh, and so this is just kind of a starting point. We're really excited about kind of the next steps and, and some of the things that we discuss in uh, this heterarchy paper, uh, like compositionality, uh, are still a work in progress, still something we're developing right now in Monty. Uh, so that's kind of generally the, the steps we follow with the research that uh, first we have some ideas uh, more on the neuroscience informed by the, the research there and the, the experimental evidence. Uh, and then slowly that um, becomes kind of a reality in our uh, in our AI systems. But uh, but yeah, we're excited to kind of share over the coming months uh, more capabilities as those come out.